On the high school court, Park City and Plenty Coup playing a matinee doubleheader at MSU Billings this afternoon. Ladies first, Plenty Coup girls entering 9-0. and And on top of the district, Park City's girls sit third in the, con in the uh, district. Here we go, the Coup in white, opening with some defensive pressure off the inbounds. Lena stands over ball, is gone and finishes the other way. Then another Plenty Coup steal coming up here. It stands over bull again as they get it out front to her, plus the foul this time. She makes it look easy. More pressure defense from Plenty Coup. This is why they're 9-0. It leads to more transition. Warriors back it out this time. Ananda goes ahead, started the sequence, and finished it with the three. Then it stands over bull, stepping in front of another pass. Layup's good here. Plenty Coup led 34-9 at the break. And the girls are now 10-0 this season. Meantime, Park City and Plenty Coot on the guys court. Picked this up in the first half with a short jump shot for Park City. Missed, but Connor McNeil gets his own rebound. Panthers score the game's first six points. Here comes the coup, though. Wade Stone driving. Watch him pick up some contact, get the basket as well. Tough, tough score there. And then the Warriors turn to Julian Glenn. Top of the key, lefty drive, lefty scoop. Nicely done. Park City led by seven after one, but the Warriors run away with this one late. 